Um, so now I'd like to welcome both Jasmine and Leanne back to the stage area, and we're going to have a very quick Q&A before we wrap up. And we'll probably move around the microphone <laughs> so that we can avoid touching it. Um, so just while other people are thinking of questions, um, I'll start with a couple um, that I usually ask. So the first one is, how do you see the relationship between arts and activism? Activism are inexorably entwined. I think if you are an artist, you're talking about the world, and if you're talking and thinking about the world, then by that very nature, you are enacting your will and activism on it. Does that make sense? And I feel, especially in the world as it is at the moment, the idea of not being political and not being engaged just doesn't seem to be a thing. I think if you are talking and you are and you have a platform then you have um, not a duty but you you have a, a responsibility to, to use that to do good with it maybe. Mm, maybe. <laughs> um, I um, went through like a good three years before I actually wrote a single gay poem and then I wrote like five in one year, and I was like, gay, 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 gay. Um, and I realised it's you know you write whatever you're, you're ready when you're ready. Um, and the thing I like most about that is that it, for me it's a celebration of who I am. And I think we are. There's a maybe we forget that there's an activism in being ourselves mm. safely, you know. Um, just being ourselves safely. Um, there's an activism just in how we do, how we express ourselves. I think our, our, our passions and what we care about and our sort of, what our messages and things that we care about, what, how we want to change the world that comes out often, even when our poems aren't consciously about something specific, maybe? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, so my next question is, um, what kind of current things are you thinking about at the moment, particularly to do with gender? Um, I'm thinking a lot about, like, art-wise or things generally? Yeah, I'm thinking a lot about gender right now. Um, a lot. Um, and again, about, yeah, um, especially about uh, those... Um, yeah, about, okay, yeah, I don't even know what, like, there's so much uh, to say about it. Um, especially about how we protect trans people uh, in, in spaces or down the street. I, work, I, I do martial arts as well, so it's weird having a foot in poetry and also a foot in, uh, like, does anyone watch UFC stuff here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, it's a guilty pleasure. I don't know who I am. I feel like <laughs> So, the, as you can imagine, for those who don't watch it, super macho, there's a lot of beauty and technique in it, but also super macho and problematic, and I train uh, in a Muay Thai gym as well, uh, and a transphobic incident happened in there, and it was just odd. I was, it was a specific, 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 I had a specific opportunity there, and what I did there, um, and I, I'm just thinking a lot about that right now, because I feel like, the understandings that we have about um, homosexuality 50 years previous to now are echoing the misunderstandings that are happening in ways with those uh, who are transgender mm -hmm. right now. I really believe that. I can see a lot of patterns. Um, and I wonder where we're going to be in 50 years' time. And I want to be part of changing that. Yeah, I totally agree. I think um, where we were in terms of what feminism meant perhaps when I started writing, which was about 10 years ago, and what feminism means now in terms of being completely inclusive and being completely, you know, intersectional, those were not conversations that were happening 10 years ago. And I'm really grateful that those are being, those conversations are happening and that um, what I'm thinking about a lot as 
um, a straight white cis woman is how I support and uplift those voices that perhaps don't have the same access to you know platforms that I do and it's something that I'm really conscious of and that I'm really trying to like learn how to like support that because I think it's really important for us to make space for people who who don't have that space you know yeah. so And any questions from the audience at all? Okay. Yeah, I, I'm be interested to know what, what, how you find your art and your poetry and writing affects your sort of day-to-day -day relationships with people in your life, with kind of <coughs> friends. You know. In, in terms of everybody being frightened of you because you might write a poem about them. <laughs> <laughs> or like... In, in whatever respect you want to answer that. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's really interesting. I think for me, the idea of like the nature of observing things as a writer means that you perhaps are a little bit more sensitive to... There's like a, there's like a sort of... A layer of self-awareness that creeps in that makes you sort of conscious of how you conduct yourself in spaces and that's wonderful up to a point where you get to the stage where you're sort of almost worried about what's going to happen because you've already thought about all the ways that it could possibly go wrong and I think that's great because it makes you great as a poet because you've got all this you know um, imagination but sometimes that's sort of yeah exactly yeah I think so Mm. Um, for me, um, I really like the question. Um, the first thought that came to mind is that um, if it, it helps, if someone sees me perform, sometimes I do stuff a, a lot about being gay. So if a guy hits on me afterwards, I know they weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> or if, if, if a guy just hits on me generally, uh, then I know they haven't listened to my poetry. So I like that, and I just like being in a room knowing who I am with people, uh, people knowing who I am now on that side of me. Before it was like, no, I don't want people to know about that when I was much younger, and now I'm like, no, I, I feel like we can really start to get to know each other now that you know that part of me for some reason. Um, the other thing is, uh, how does, it, how does be, 